hello guys and welcome back so now in this video what we're gonna do we will limit our camera angles okay for now as you can see the camera can uh, go in infinitely in the up and down direction and also there is a second issue so for example if we move our camera in this direction now as you can see the player speeds get slow and when we do this now the player speed is faster as you can see but it gets slow when the camera is in the top direction like this or in the bottom direction like this okay so we need to fix these two issues let's start from the first one let's limit the camera angles so for that first of all what we're gonna do we will first of all create a header right here and we will name this header as camera movement Okay, and in here we will have all of the variables for required for camera movement okay now let's create a float by the name of minimum pivot angle and minimum will be for now let's just say zero Okay, we will assign them when we play the game okay and the maximum pivot angle for now will be zero or let's just uh, make this as 30 okay 30 and 30 actually the minimum will be minus 30 and the maximum will be 30 okay that is it now inside the rotate camera let's now clamp the pivot angle between minimum and maximum okay so we will say pivot angle equals to mathf dot clamp and we will not this time type 0 and 1 because we don't want the camera pivot angle to be between 0 and 1 we want it to be between the minimum and maximum pivot angle values okay so we want to uh, clamp the pivot angle between the minimum pivot angle and the maximum pivot angle simple as that now if we save the game get back right here we have the minimum maximum pivot angle minus 30 30 these values might be different for your game or you can also increase or decrease them but for me i think as you can see these values are perfectly fine now as you can see the camera doesn't go uh, uh infinity on the up and down uh, axis okay and for the left and right of course we want it to go 360 because we don't want to limit that okay now as you can see it is working perfectly fine as you can see okay the next thing i want is that i want uh, that next issue actually that issue is solved but it still uh, make the player movement a little bit slower as you can see like this it's uh, fast but like when we move it right here it gets slow as you can see you can notice the difference so we want to uh, remove this issue as well and also when, when whenever we play the game we want the cursor to be uh, locked to the screen okay we don't want the cursor to be floating on top of the screen so let's first of all uh, lock the cursor right here in the awake method we will say cursor dot lock state equals to cursor lock mode dot locked okay then we will say cursor dot visible equals to false that is it now let's fix the other issue for that you will have to open up your player movement and then on the player movement inside this handle movement method right here whenever we uh, set our move direction so right here we need to do some changes so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove that and now we will type new vector 3 okay we will create a vector 3 for the x we will pass camera object dot forward dot x okay 
for the y we will pass 0 okay and then for the z we're gonna pass camera object dot forward dot z okay and then we're gonna multiply that by our input manager dot vertical input simple as that okay right here we just want the y to be zero that is it and we want the uh, x and z to be camera object dot forward dot x and dot z okay you just need to type this uh, line right here then just simply go ahead and save your script now that issues will be fixed as well and also you can notice we now have the uh, header for the camera movement okay so all of the variables for the camera movement are inside this header now let's simply go ahead and play the game and you will notice now first of all the mouse cursor is now locked to the screen okay we can't see that uh, I mean uh, you guys might have uh, seen it in the middle of the screen while recording this but I can't see the cursor and now that issue is gone as well so if my camera is now in the upward direction the player speed is not uh, being uh, slowed as you can see the player is uh, running in a constant speed okay and you guys uh, will be able to see the difference as well for your own game as well okay so now as you can see it's look perfectly fine okay so we will be uh, updating our camera controller even more okay we will be making making it more professional so now with this video done let's uh, end this video right here and catch you guys in the next one